Dear friends of culture, sports, and heritage, first of all, I would like to thank President Khalil Ahmed Khan from the International Council of Traditional Sports and Games for asking me to contribute to this wonderful celebration of the International Day of Traditional Sports and Games. This day is an important occasion to celebrate culture, heritage, diversity, unity, and the power of sports. Traditional sports and games are more than just a physical activity. They reflect the histories, the roots, the identities of communities across the world. They reflect our rich cultures, passed down through generations, fostering a sense of belonging and pride. All these traditional sports and games tell a story, our story. In today's world where wars, discrimination, racism are present, we face the challenge of preserving these cultural treasures while embracing the new developing ones. They offer us lessons in respect of teamwork and resilience. They bridge gaps between generations and communities, offering a universal language that transcends borders. UNESCO's Fit for Life Sports flagship uses the power of sports to promote an active and balanced lifestyle. It leverages the values instilled by sports to build healthier, stronger, and more inclusive communities. Young people who practice sports are eight times more likely to continue being physically active across their lifespan than those that who do not which help them in all areas of their health and well-being, alongside improving their employability and teaching essential values and healthy habits. As a universal language, sports, including traditional sports and games, give young people a safe space to grow healthier and more empowered. And they also contribute to advance gender equality and to empower girls and women. And this is why UNESCO, as the United Nations Lead Agency for Sports and Physical Education, is committed to protecting and promoting traditional sports and games. We recognize the value of preserving unique cultural traditions that help us build more inclusive societies. But this is not something that we can do alone. We need you. And we need to engage all of us in a collective effort to ensure that these traditions are not only remembered, but actively practiced and passed down to future generations. I'm glad to share with you that during MINEP 7, held in 2023 in Baku, Azerbaijan, member states and, and other core stakeholders reaffirmed their vital role that tradition sports and games can play as part of UNESCO's Fit for Life Alliance. They recognize what sport and tradition can do to shape also our communities. We must work together with governments, communities, young people, organizations, and individuals to create spaces where traditional sports and games can thrive and can be practiced. And on this International Day of Traditional Sports and Game, I made this call to all of you, colleagues, leaders, educators, parents, to join us in this mission. Let us celebrate these activities, not just today, but every day, by integrating them in our lives, our schools, and our communities. Together, we can ensure that traditional sports and game continue to inspire, unite, and connect us.